Namaste my lovely yogis and welcome back to my channel. This is the last video of this series. I can't believe we have reached till the last video. Thank you for all those who have been practicing with me throughout this time and for all those who have not subscribed to the channel yet. A humble request to you, please stick to the channel and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much and let's get started for today's video. This is going to be a relaxing class and more into gentle stretching. For the props, you can keep one block and a belt with you. If you don't have a belt, maybe a tie or a waist belt that will work as well. Just keep it next to your mat and we're going to start in child's posture or balasana. So bring your big toes together, widen your knees towards the edges of the mat and let's start to fold forward any amount if the floor is too far for you and you are holding on somewhere here use your block and release your forehead onto this block make sure your hips are relaxed and resting onto your heels start to relax your body Bringing the shoulders down and away from your ears. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stay low and walk both your hands over to your right side. So stretching the left side of your body here. Switch sides. Come back to center and slowly lift up. Well done. Make your way into a seated position facing towards the front. Stretch your right leg forward and bend your left knee in, moving into Janu Shirshasana forward fold. So grab hold of your belt. Important thing here is that you keep your right toes flexed. If you want, you can bend this knee. This leg doesn't need to be perfectly straight. So breathe in, reach your arms up. Breathe out. As I always say, lead with your chest and go forward, not down. Bring your belly and thigh in contact and for that matter, if you need to, bend your knee. If you can't go further forward, grab hold of your belt, put it around your foot, stretch your foot and stay here. Look at your toes and just breathe. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly start to lift up. Remove the belt. Grab hold of your right foot and let's stretch this leg up towards the ceiling this time. Keep your back straight here. Try not to round or just slouch here. Look up. Breathe in. And out slowly bend this knee and let's switch sides left leg forward again flex your toes first choose the options breathe in breathe out either use your belt or just reach forward with your hands but try to look at your toes so that your neck is long breathing in breathing out inhale keep your shoulders away from your ears always and as I said, bend this knee if you need to. Feel free to close the eyes and just breathe through the stretch. Slowly start to lift your body up on the inhale. And let's hold the left foot and stretch the leg up towards the ceiling this time. Inhale. And exhale 
slowly bend this knee and release let's make our way into a tabletop position hands and knees moving into thread the needle posture inhale i'm gonna stretch my right arm up exhale feeding my right arm underneath my left armpit until i can drop my left uh, right ear and right shoulder to the mat so bend your elbow go down 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 and now just first work on your neck relax your head and your neck down to enhance this stretch you can take your left arm towards your lower back or maybe to hold your front thigh or your right thigh here keep your belly in and breathe One more breath. Slowly bring your left hand down to the mat, press into the hand and lift yourself up. Okay, before moving to the other side, what we're going to do, bring your knees together and now cross your left knee over your right. Widen your feet and start to walk your hands back until you can release your hips down to the mat like this right now we are into gomukhasana or cow face posture if this is hard for you and you are not able to release your hips down again use your block and just sit on to this if you have tight hips you might end up having a lot of gap here in that case just hold your feet and stay there or if you want to move further we're gonna take arch your arms here i'm gonna reach my right arm up bending the right elbow either just use your left hand just to press this elbow down and back or if you can interlace the fingers breathe in look forward breathe out start to fold over as far as you can go breathe in breathe out again if your hands are away and you can't hold your fingers use your belt like this breathe in breathe out one more breath slowly lift up release your hands and let's start walking our hands and find our tabletop position the way we started so take it easy take your time no hurry press into your hands lift your hips up come forward and now uncross your knees left knee comes back find your tabletop position left side breathe in reach your left arm up breathe out relaxing the head and neck left ear left shoulder to the mat right hand either to my lower back or holding my left thigh keep breathing and keep twisting with your upper body slowly bring your right hand to the mat press into your hand lift back up and now again moving into cow face posture bring your knees to touch and your right knee crosses over your left knee this time widen your feet start to walk your hands back and release your hips down again options are same either just hold your feet if you are using any prop or your legs are like this otherwise left arm reaches up either use your right hand to press it down and back as we did earlier or use your belt that's another option or simply interlace the fingers with or without your belt go forward you might feel that your one side is comparatively tighter than the other and that's fine one more breath and slowly start to lift up release the arms let's walk our hands back into our tabletop position uncross the knees hands and knees 
and then make your way to a child's posture balasana easy balasana reaching your arms back slowly start to lift and make your way on your back hug your knees into your chest grab hold of your big toes if this is enough stay here otherwise start to open your knees out find your ananda balasana happy baby posture where your foot and your knee should be in one line and sole of your foot is facing up towards the ceiling but important thing here is while doing this don't lift your hips off the mat keep your lower back and your hips down shoulders relaxed keep pulling your knees down on every inhale and keep opening your knees out with every exhale breathe in and breathe out one more breath slowly bring your knees together stretch your right leg down and keep hugging your left knee into your chest grab hold of your belts stretch your left leg up towards the ceiling and use your belt with your right hand press your right hip down because we're going to open the left leg out very shortly breathe in breathe out start to open your left leg out but try not to roll over to your left side that's why i asked you use your right hand and keep pressing your right hip down and you can bend this knee if you need to if you are here stay there here or maybe here keep breathing slowly bring your leg back to the center and straight away cross it over to your right hand and this keep the leg straight or bend the knee if you need to this time hold the belt with your right hand because we are into a twist and shift your gaze over to your left shoulder make sure you are not lifting the shoulder off to enhance the stretch keep the shoulder down one more breath and slowly come back to center remove the belt and let's switch sides stretching the right leg up pressing the left hip down breathe in prepare to open the right leg out towards your right side relax your body and start to slow down your breath bring the leg back to center cross it over to your left side swap your hands right arm down gaze at your right shoulder slowly bring the leg back to center hug your knees into your chest once again maybe just sway from side to side whatever feels good to you breathe in here breathe out bring your nose or your chin to your knees if you can hold for one inhale exhale release If you want you can take your shavasana after this or just roll on to one side and lift back up to a seated position. We finish this class here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these videos and you were practicing throughout. 
thank you so much i will see you in my next video very very soon till then please stick to the channel take care bye bye namaste